Are you asking me? Yeah. Okay. This painting is about the trickster. The trickster, as we uh, know in uh, uh, certain African uh, religions, uh, the one that I know seemingly the best or sometimes I think the least about is Yoruba. In America, they call it voodoo or voodoo. In uh, Cuba, they call it Santeria. In uh, Brazil, they call it Colombre. But it's all based on the root is uh, Yoruba, which is comes from West Africa. And so the trickster, uh, to me, uh, is represented in this Zulu character, which I'm talking about, Zulu parade group out of New Orleans called Big Shot. And Big Shot is this African-American invention which comes out of a cold drink that was very popular when I was a child. And it usually was red and it was called Big Shot. And the idea was that Big Shot represented common man. So this particular drink represented common man. And if you've ever seen the old bottle, they have diamond shapes. So all these things are references in terms of what this thing represents as far as Congo, uh, crossroads symbols, which is the diamond shape. So Big Shot has always been very, very important to me, more so than seeing the King of Zulu. I, as a child, for whatever reason, was always interested in finding Big Shot. I wanted to see this character because he was the character that kids could relate to, just like Gede, and uh, he's the trickster. So when I finally got this chance and proceeded to, it took me about three or four years to figure how can I get the imagery I want to do this piece. But when I finally uh, figured it out, I, it took, uh, I went to the Zulu getting off the boat on Canal Street and then went to the parade on Mardi Gras Day and did a whole series of just portraits of different people who either had been Big Shot or either was the reigning Big Shot. And so this piece comes out of that. He represents all of us. He is like the child. He's the child. But he's also mischievous. And so it's a natural extension in terms of what we call African retentions. Yet it's very American and in that sense, it's very postmodern. Yeah, that's what I love about New Orleans is the richness within language and performance and the different levels that that speak about the human condition. And I don't know any place in the world where that is so profound, yet it speaks to everyone here and it goes beyond race and class. So it, it's a very, very special place to the point that when I'm talking to somebody, I'll always get them to understand by using different examples that this is, as far as I'm concerned, the first postmodern city in America. And it has always been postmodern in the sense that it's able to take other things and co-opt them for its own advantage and make something very special and unique out of it, which is this culture we call New Orleans that thousands of people come to see.